And maybe we can hold off a Soviet invasion. Maybe. We might have to abandon some territories to the Soviets, but... I mean, if we can end up... Defeating Albania. We need troops over to Bulgaria. Because when it comes to... Albania. Eventually, they will see the light of day. It'll take them a while, sure. But they'll get there eventually. It might just take them a while. You up to a hundred. How many more planes do we have in storage? I think a bomber is multi- we have, we have a lot of planes in storage. We just don't have enough airports to actually store them all in. Do we have anything that increases the income a little bit more? 1960 is a little bit too expensive, I would say. Computers. Research speed. Eh. You know what? Let, let's, let's start our own atomic research program. I think it's about time that Yugoslavia had nukes. That's just my two cents on the situation. They're okay, getting Soviet advisors. But I need you again. Okay, you're refusing. Okay, you're doing this, which is okay. After that, you're gonna go for the fire Soviet Union, right? I mean, they think they have one. Well, they can't do this. They have one plan here. They got a couple up here. They really, they really did all their armed forces focuses. Really? All of them? Is there anything even good in here? Land doctrine, weapons. No. There, there's, no there's nothing good in here. Maybe, maybe... I guess you can get some naval units and air units from other people, but nothing crazy. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so Prime Minister of Pakistan re excluded excessive state to the United States. The Mongolian applied to become a member of the Soviet Union. They've been rejected. And apparently Saudi Arabia collapsed. Okay, so Saudi Arabia no longer exists. It's just a it's just the Arabian Republic. Okay. That's new. So what are you? You are mostly either monarchist or nationalist. I didn't really see that coming, to be quite honest with you. But I don't, I don't think anybody could have predicted that. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, let's increase ties with America. How do they feel about us right now? Not great. But it's, it's not, like, terribly low. I think the Soviets hate us more than the Americans do, yeah. Because they decrease in opinion. Sorry, Tim Curry, that, you know, we, we, I couldn't... It couldn't quite be there for you. I knew it. I knew that they would take these other focuses. Albania. Abandon Moscow so I can invade you. Also, apparently there's been a coup in Korea. Okay, so North Korea is now Maoist and a puppet of China. Kim, uh, Kim Il-sung has been deposed in a coup. Also making old trucks. Boo boo, there we go. Military truck level 2. And you want ASF. Which is air superiority fighter, I'm assuming. There you go. I guess we'll get, I guess we'll get the... 1947 tank. Yeah, Kim Il-sung is gone. Most of, actually, their most important uh, influencer right now is the IMF. Also, apparently Japan has gone socialist. 
Wait, is South Korea going socialist too? No. No, it's, it's just a symbol that they're using. Okay. I was gonna be, I was be very surprised if that's the case. Okay, what do you want me to do? You want me to spread uh, propaganda? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? There you go. We're only at 70% now with you. And we're at 57% with... Because of the goddamn IMF. Well, we already have our causes bellies. We don't, we don't need to worry about it. We just need a way for them to shoot themselves in the foot, okay? It's not a big issue. We do see that the Maoists are getting a little bit more popular here. And there we go. Beria is now in charge of the Soviet Union. Uh, Tim Curry has officially resigned from the position. I'm sure that's completely okay. Nothing bad could possibly happen with Beria at the helm. Denounced recent violent outburst, an anti Stalinist offensive. Replace Molotov. Yeah, they can also form their own uh, European Union. I think we did that when we played the Soviet Union in this mod. Okay, a Saudi Armaco strike. We might be seeing some oil prices increase. Makes it also a little bit strange to be a Saudi strike, seeing as uh, Saudi Arabia no longer exists. But who knows? You know, th things are a little wacky. Let's put it that way. Stop preparing plans. Just break free from the Soviets, okay? okay increase time with America. Now we're going to get to American financial aid. Just give me, like, just add 200 money, please. I would love, I would love to have 200 money. Light to the Shah. And we do see that we are, uh, we've broken $100 billion in GDP. I consider that to be a success. I think that does make us one of the richer countries on Earth. Get a great leap forward. You know, there's a lot of tension right now happening in Iran. I think they're no longer going to be in Imperial State very soon. Just due to the fact that, uh... Yeah, that the coup failed. Okay, decisions available. Let's just keep on influencing Bulgaria. And get the IMF out of there. If only you come on, come on, guys. Still don't even know what you guys are up to. Then we do want to do the crush internal opposition. Because if we don't, we're gonna have a trickier situation on our hands. What what's what's um what are you guys doing? So that's the opposition. Okay, Ajax.100.d. You'd love to see it. Yes, yeah, so it looks like they're not embracing decolonization. Which means that they're not, they're distancing themselves away from a Soviet Union. The Soviet Union is going to be doing a decolonization process here. Good, negative 12%. What do, we, what do we got here? How's a fair economy? I got a feeling that I think our tree's gonna be over very, very soon. So probably this whole series gonna be ending very soon just because, um... I don't think ending the one-party state gives you a new focus tree. But... Afterwards... We got the five-year plan still. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll basically we'll see where we're at, right? We'll, we'll see where we're at once we've done our um, 
for after we end the one party state. Okay, Soviet Union is trying to compete with us in Romania. United Front has fallen apart. America is back to South, uh, South Vietnam. In rejection of the Geneva Convention. Very cool. And there's been a purge. By the President of Czechoslovakia. Thank you, the Viking... Uh, Afrangas? The Viking of Rus. Thank you. You've been purged for the party. Um, Constitution. The Salt Lake Power. So I think you are staying on the pro. I think Czechoslovakia is staying pro Moscow. Rapid desalinization. Reproach with Tito. Van Tives Israel. Embrace ComCon. Impressive with Neo Stalinism. Now the Hungarian Revolution. I mean, they all seem. I mean, I don't think any of them seem like they're anti Soviet. At least in the sense that they would. International Detente. Stimulus package. Al Albania really does, does not want to do what I want them to do. Which is just, again, just continue to stall this policies, man. Yeah, okay. There, there is a lot of world tension going on. Operation Ajax has failed. Is America still at war with Vietnam? They are. Okay. The United States doesn't even ha actually had that many troops either. Like, who's actually been generating all the world tension then? Yeah, it was mostly generated. We see a 27% here. Mostly because of Congo and the Korean War. But there is a, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Italy, are you still communist? You are. Yeah, I think I think West Germany is just actually out of focuses. I don't think there's anything else they can do. They just gotta wait for the unification events to fight between East and West. And we'll and we'll see how that goes for them. Research speed. We have some civilian factories they can use. Give me an office park. Right there. Where I would put it. Disclosure review is still looking okay. Any financial policies we could change? We could. Again, we're still making like $20 billion. Let me deploy these units first and see how that changes our finances. Because there might be a major drain on the economy. Just deploying 10 more units. That's like $2 billion. Okay, maybe we can, we can afford to... Probably pass something here. Education. Service funding. Yeah, there we go. High service funding. Again, it will cost us a little bit of money. But nothing like too extravagant, I think. I think for the most part, we should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, we've ended the one-party state. Not that I think that actually has any effect on the game itself. So I don't think we get, like, elections or anything like that. Okay, let's also get an extra research slot while we're here. Start the second five-year plan. I hate you. I hate you, Albania. 
You always choose literally the exact, the one thing I don't want you to do. Like, why do you gotta make things so difficult for me, huh? It seems like it should be simple. But no. You, do, you, know, you don't want to make things simple for me. Okay, we're at 101. So what we need is at 137. We could declare war on them, but I don't think that's going to be useful. Let's just put it that way. Okay, delete. Delete blue army line here. Stretch you all around Albania. Even bring a few units over here. I think we need a little bit more support. I at least want to have the entire border covered, right? Like I think that make I think that makes sense. Bam machine building. We don't know what you guys are up to. We don't know what you guys are up to. What does embargoing do? I don't actually know what embargoing does. But you know what? I'm going to lift the embargo in the Soviet Union. We'll see if that changed our economy in any meaningful way. Probably not would be my guess. No, it doesn't think it has any meaningful effect one way or the other, unfortunately. Not. You you should just the yeah, railroad, municipality, municipal infrastructure, American loans. And you only give us fifty billion dollars, which is not really that much. Okay, coup in Yemen. The flight was shot down. Shot down over Bulgaria. Okay. You also have an outdated medium tank. Uh, main battle tank one. There we go. Put in the patent. And fuck, I don't know, man. Uh, go for SP artillery two or three, whatever, whatever the number is at. Okay, Persia, Pakistan's Persia's Gwadar. Uh, you executed Gandhi's assassin. You defied the Soviet Union. You'd love to see it. And Sweden embraces the atoms for peace. Are they building their own nuclear weapons? Oh no, it's a little, it's a little suspicious. Coronation of is in Iraq. And Austria has been unified. Good for you, Austria. Good for you. And you're immediately aligning yourself with the West. Established military HQ. Okay, national focus. Um, I guess we'll go with our 50% factory output. It seems like it could be pretty good. I honestly don't even know. Okay, so go with you. Bill tries police. They're not gonna help us. Population growth cost co uh, cost for capital like goes up pretty substantially. You would double the cost of education, but there we go. I think we we have enough money. We can spend it, man. We can spend it. And not have to worry about the grand scheme of things. Okay, technology. Let's research next. Yeah, wooden, wooden frames for rockets. Seems like a smart thing to do. The yeah, Soviet Union, though, they have, a, they have a lot of men. How many troops do they have? I mean, they have... They could only possibly have, like, 77 units. Like, they might not actually have that many troops. 
Okay, so we're defying the Soviet Union now. Continue, continue stalling this policies, please. All you need to do, okay? It's all you need to do, Albania, before you can be quickly gobbled up into the Yugoslavian Empire. So you guys are actually not at war anymore. Wait, are you... Burma? Are you not the same dude who's in charge of the, um... No, you are a different dude, okay. I thought he was the same guy. Okay, next, give me, uh, 1940, yeah, sure, calorie camel bonus. Seems good. I mean, you don't even do anything, right? You, you give us an event, and... Hey. Okay. Most today in all time, these individuals will be in charge of variety of crimes, including crimes against humanity, mass murder, war crimes, many other crimes. Um, defense among the last Nazi war criminals that you have tried for the crimes. And the demise of the Algerian Front of the Nas Liberation National. So the FLN has collapsed. We'll probably see them come back at some point, but it, it's hard to say. Congo free. Are you a puppet of a uh, a Belgium? No. You're kind of just hanging out, and you're still at war with um. You're you're still at war with uh the DRC. Not too sure how that's going to end up for you, but. Okay, we got another murder. Who got murdered this time? Emmett Till. The black... Oh, okay. Yeah, Emmett Till. Killed in Chicago. You know, let's join NATO. Why not? 